Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well today. Last episode, I challenged you guys, if you want to see more Crab Champions, make sure you hit the like button. That's still true, but you guys had a 100% like ratio on the previous episode of this series for like four or five days. I've never seen that before. I've never seen a video go that long without getting a dislike. That was incredible. So thank you so much. I am very honored. We are going to be using the rocket launcher today with the triple grenade. Chance to throw three grenades at once. So perhaps leading into grenades a fair amount in this video as well. The rocket was like the second or third weapon I actually unlocked. There's that triple grenade now. It does start off on the low side for DPS here. For instance, if you compare the rocket to the crossbow, uh, the crossbow is able to put out significantly better numbers if you play up close. Whereas the rocket launcher at any range is just gonna hit for 200. There are ways to scale this and hopefully we find some of those ways on today's run but let's get the run underway. Now, the first level is always a damaged chest and ideally we find some way of getting some scaling in the early rounds here. I would even fish for damaged chest to try to find something like that relatively early on. Not gonna get a flawless on this one as that poison ant did spawn off to the side. The elites right now are taking two shots to take down where these normal crabs are taking just a single. Where's our chest? We, ooh, Collector would be really good. High Caliber and Red Fury are also good. Collector is better as a run continues. I actually am only gonna get 4% damage from that right now. And because we're early in a run, I'm also gonna go for a spike chest here. Basically how this game breaks down is every time you get to a shop, you're able to heal for a lot. And chests like this might be intimidating where you're sacrificing some of your, some of your health to open those chests, but usually the purple quality trait is worth it. Especially if you're well into a run al already and you can get some extra healing rolling out, that can make those a no-brainer pickup. Well, for the pleasure of sacrificing almost 30 of my health, we have Layered Grenade, Shotgun Blast, or scatter shot. Chance for shots to scatter into smaller shots on impact could be really good with our rocket. I wonder what the chance of that has. 60% chance for every single shot we fire to scatter into smaller shots. I like that. I'm going to go for the random over the crit. Random doesn't let you know what kind of chest you're getting on the loading screen. I kind of wish it did. For instance, if you're going towards a health pickup, the, the loading screen is always green swirls. You're getting a damaged one. It's always a specific color. Random starts purple, but I think it would be really cool if it faded to the color of chest you were actually getting. Uh, the grub was standing too close to that explosive rock, and we were able to take him down just cruising through the first part of this run. I don't even feel like I'm using my grenade enough. I'm gonna take the small crystal bundle and the flawless luck. Now, if we take damage, we're still going to get our luck chest. However, if we somehow manage to clear this round without taking a single hit, we'll basically get a bonus chest. Uh, one popular strategy is to hold the top here, but I don't think I have the fire rate to really do that. So I'm going to start running around and forcing these guys to follow me. We only have to stay alive for 20 more sec- Oh, there's the hit, so we're not going to get flawless. We only have to stay alive for 20 more seconds, so that's not too bad. That's not too long. I think we can do that. I'm not seeing an example of my shot splitting just yet. I guess those are the smaller pieces. But those just kind of went off into nowhere. There is an opportunity to potentially turn those into homing projectiles, but we'd have to get pretty lucky with our drops to make that happen. So, not a ton of synergies going into the first shop, but the first shop can be good to us. What do we get for our luck chest? Auto loader efficiency or driller? I'm going to take auto loader because reloading takes a while on this gun and we only have five bullets to begin with. Auto, auto loader could potentially make it so we can just keep firing rockets if we kill enemies. What's the percent on that? 10% chance to instantly reload after each elimination. We fire five rockets before we reload, so there's a 50% chance I won't have to reload in between each reload. Grim Reaper is really good. Heavy grenade is okay. Gold coating's fine. Uh, Grim Reaper 
uh, would ensure our survivability for quite a while. Bullseye, I'm one credit short. So for Bullseye, honestly, do I sell the triple grenade? I think I might. That'll give me 84. That buys me Bullseye and nothing else. But Rig Totems isn't bad. We also have a totem over here. There is a chance, a better chance now that we have Rig Totems, that we double our health. Hey, I'm not going to press that button again. I'm going to keep that. Uh, double crit with Helming Thorns. I don't really feel like I need crit. I'm going to go for the health. We have good healing right now. If I could get another bullseye, that would be incredible. And I don't know this for sure, but I feel like after you get an upgrade once, you're much more likely to find it in the future. So the fact that we locked in a bullseye does make me feel pretty good. Now, basically, you can see my HP is 201. As I kill enemies, that bullseye is going to give me more health, but only if I kill these enemies in a single shot, which the rocket is pretty good at, all things considered. Let's try to cut away from these elites here. We did just break the armor on this one, but he's getting a little bit too close. That guy was too close to that explosive rock and came jumping towards me. Yeah, I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't say these guys are friendly, but that was a pretty good shot there. If I can keep hitting him on the way up, we should be fine. The one in the back just died. Good hit, and just a single elite remains. I've been playing this game a ton over on Twitch, not only on my channel, but on Holly's channel. We do night streams and Thursday, Friday on Holly's channel. Uh, we've been playing crap games. So if you guys like this game, there, there's a lot more of it going around than just these videos. Although I am planning on sitting down today to record quite a lot. Now, this is a difficult choice. Do we go for the economy chest and make the rest of our run better? We are on turn six, so that could have a pretty big impact on our run. Or do we sacrifice our HP for the spiked chest? I'm gonna go economy. If I could get more crystals, money shot wouldn't be that great. But if I could get more crystals, that would be excellent and could allow us to really start to snowball in the shop areas. I'm gonna try to wait for as many of these enemies to group up as I can, and once they do, we're just kind of shooting into the center for that splash damage. We've already gained a six increase in our total HP since getting that bullseye. Now, if you continue to stack bullseyes, you get more HP for every 10 one shots. So instead of getting one at a time, I could get two. On my very best run, I had 10 bullseye. Well, on my best run for that trait, I had 10 of them stacked. So every 10 kills, I was getting 10 HP and you can really start to scale out of control, especially in the later levels. Since we last made a video on this game, melee has gotten quite a big patch. They've added a bunch of perks to support melee builds. So I think we will try to do a run with that at some point. Another thing to consider is there is an achievement to, did I shoot this and that's why it broke? Is that a thing? Cause I didn't interact with that. This is exploded, it's no longer used. Uh, gain 11, uh, 111 crystals, but lose 33% of your max HP. That's gonna be a no from me. Here we have small crystal bundle for 333, Tony's black card or money shot, gain crystals when damaging enemies. Now that can be good. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna go for the random chest here. Money shot can be good, but the problem is our fire rate is very low. Money shot on something like a minigun just prints cash. It's beautiful. And if I could get something like a homing shot or uh, that shot that bounces in between targets, I can't remember the name of it right now, uh, that could be very, very beneficial. Uh, 50 seconds left in this survival. I'm going to try to get as many of these little crab executes as I can. It is a viable strategy to just kind of hang out during these, these survival missions. Like if you're low on health and you don't want to be risky, that is A, okay. But if you are in a position to be aggressive, then every single kill we get obviously puts more money in our bank account because every enemy that dies gives us crystals. So this is actually a great scenario for me. Now, unfortunately with the money shot, I'm only getting $1 every explosion, one extra dollar every explosion. So I might trade money shot for something a bit better for our build at the shop. I wouldn't feel bad about that at all. Uh, three seconds, I might be able to get a good pufferfish explosion before then. Indeed we did. 
And we've already gained 24 max HP with that bullseye. That's really good. Reload, reload arc, endurance, or time shots. Health after clearing each island seems like the way to go to me. Now, this is our last shop before the first boss. Ideally, we're going to fight two more bosses after this. So our build is just starting to get underway. I'm going to take the uppercut. Every fifth rocket is just going to deal more damage. At this, at this point, fire rate is going to be really valuable to me. A couple bronze hearts and endurance heal after clearing each island. And damage increase to close enemies. That wouldn't be terrible. Let me, uh, ooh, free item in the back. We got targeting shot. This is the one I was thinking of. Chance for shots to target nearby enemies on impact. So if we're firing this off, there's a chance my rocket split, and then I think those splits will target others. M maybe. <laughs> Take that one with a grain of salt. Think that, that's more theory crafting than anything at this point. Uh, I'm gonna take more dashes. It just gives us another jump in the air, allowing us to evade these enemies longer. And it's a lot easier to land shots with a rocket launcher if you're above the target. Now, we are going to have some challenges leading into bosses. For instance, one of the best ways of killing a boss is stacking up lots of poison. Every single stack of poison would, uh, would make a boss significantly more vulnerable. However, we have none of that. Even if we had it, it may not be that easy for us to apply it, considering how low our fire rate is. I'm going to hit that explosive rock that he's standing next to. It didn't even blow it up. Grenade is out. They have rebalanced the elemental um, perks in this game, weapon mods in this game, to make them percentage-based, and the percentage of it activating does change with every single weapon. In an earlier episode with the sniper rifle, I said I didn't want elemental stuff because I didn't think I could proc it. Well, it turns out snipers now have like a 30% chance baseline to get an elemental effect, or at least they did with the ice shot. I was testing that out last night. The rocket launcher should have an okay chance. Oh God, that's terrifying. Should have an okay chance in it. So maybe that's something we can pursue because this damage is just not good enough. Luckily for us, we were able to fight back the first boss, and we get rewarded with Collector, Lightning Aura, or Fire Claws. We're going to get Collector again, grab our free key, and get a Bronze Heart, bringing our HP up to 274. This will be a health chest, I'm pretty sure, at the beginning of each new biome. And we have hit the Ice Stages. Now, the enemies do get more difficult here. The regular crabs can freeze you just by auto attacking you. I'm not sure if they have more HP or not. Oh, that was a great explosion there. Was that targeting shot coming into play? I should see what the percentage of targeting shot actually working is. That could be interesting. Uh, this is the last enemy though, so I guess I won't make him wait. 80% chance for shots to target nearby enemies on impact. 80% with the rocket launcher. That is incredible. Snake shot, power armor, or armor, claw, iron claws. I'm just going to get rid of all of those and go for the damage option next. This is another arena. We're going to have another after this before we go into another survival. The more I play this game, by the way, I'm like, I'm getting a lot of hours in it now. <laughs> I'm getting most of the skins unlocked. I am still thoroughly enjoying my time. But the more I play this game, the more I realized that your perks don't matter as much as your movement. If you get the movement down, you're gonna be golden. You can go a long way on a run as long as you're moving right. So in this particular instance, I feel safer if I'm really far away from these enemies. Just stay back. We're chilling. I'll be a sniper with this thing. Now, do I have to target an enemy for the targeting shot to actually impact something else? Or can I shoot it straight down and then get some shrapnel going that way? Hey, bud. I'm not sure. Time shot, imploding grenade, or spiral shot. I'm going to salvage yet again. Ah, I could go for the economy chest. My money shot's not really doing much for me. My HP is great. I'm going to go for the spike chest. I'm going to try to load up on really valuable perks if I'm able to. Now, this is a bit risky leading up to a survival. 
we are two levels deep into this section of the run, right? This little uh, marathon to get to the next shop. So it could be risky, but these enemies haven't been able to catch up to me very well so far. I'm trying to keep a close eye on my money to see if money shots giving me any additional gold or so that explosion looked like it spawned money for every enemy in the explosion. So money shots not that bad for me if they are grouped up. I thought it was going to be a one to one. We do gain the privilege of sacrificing our HP where we can get an assassin. Finally, damage increased after every 10 one shot eliminations. I will heal by killing enemies because we have Grim Reaper already. So I'll go ahead and sign up for another spike shot here. Now, this is a horde. Luckily, we're in a great defensible location and the enemies generally spawn pretty far away on this map as well. So I'm gonna try to hold this spot down. We have 28 seconds. There is no flawless bonus, but I do need to make sure that I have enough HP at the end of this to open up the chest. So the assassin that we picked up works exactly the same as the bullseye that we've been talking about. As we one shot enemies, it's going to increase our damage. Of course, if we get damage increases, that makes it easier to one shot the next group of enemies. Every single time you see my HP up, go, go, go up at the bottom left. So I'm at 284 right now. If you see it go up to 285, odds are we also got an assassin proc at the same time, which is going to Oh, the supercharge could be really good here. Increased fire rate, that could solve a lot of our problems. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to the shop with $1,137 in our pocket. Armor, plates, the first item, sharp shot, collector, and glue grenade. I'll grab the collector, but that's gonna be most of my money. That's okay. That's totally fine. We do have that rig totems that I don't think I've done too much with other than doubling my HP earlier. This is a free pickup. I'll take that. Danger close. Sure. That's something we could salvage in the future, I think. Uh, and I'm going to do the parkour level. I've actually gotten pretty good at these, although ice has its own layout that I don't know. So I'm kind of running in blind here. We'll see how this one goes well that is a very big jump and so is that now i do have an advantage of having that extra jump already in my kit so i do get a little bit of leeway with this because like if i miss my platform it's easier for me to correct than it might be without that jump i was gonna go big there but i decided against it so far we're in line to get the epic chest but i feel like i've probably gone a little too slow well that was a good jump Oh, damn, it's chest. I missed it by a second. <laughs> Damage is fine. We can get another assassin here. Bubble blast, snake grenade, or dagger arc. Dagger arc's not bad. We'll go ahead and get it. One of my big concerns, I can't believe, I can't believe this. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is the one hit challenge, right? Normally one hit challenges, I say go for them, but our problem is our fire rate is so low and I'm already killing enemies in one hit anyway. Was that the va the volley of daggers? Extra daggers deal 1,875 damage per second on a five second cooldown? What? Okay, yeah, okay. So that's gonna give me more spread and I'm not 100% if those can target with the targeting shot or not. But if we take a single point of damage, we are going to be eliminated. Just like the enemies, if they take a single point of damage, they are going to be eliminated. So it's very important that I stay mobile here. If we had a machine gun, if we had a minigun, something that could rapidly fire out shots, this is actually one of the easiest challenges in the game to take on, but not for us, not right now. It's pretty sketchy for us right now. Uh, there are a lot of enemies chasing behind us, but I don't want to turn around and give them my attention. I'll just... Oh, that's an elite. That means there's more elites. Where are they? There's one. I don't know if that hit anything. Okay, they're all going to crest this hill. I don't think anything else is spawning. So I'm going to try to hold here. I actually got a nice wall protecting me on the left too. I think this is a good spot. That's going to be a nice one shot. <laughs> Now, there is also a case to be made that because we have Assassin and Bullseye, that this was an extremely profitable build, uh, profitable level for our build. 
And I think that is correct. Thorn shot firework or arc shots. Uh, I'll wait on that one. Sacrificing more health. Grim Reaper. Big chest. Big old chest. That's what we like around here. Uh, firework shot could be good. What's the... Is it? It's a cooldown, right? Each firework deals 500 damage. So basically, eight seconds, we fire these additional balls that then go out and explode. That might be something I sell in the future. I'm going to go for damage here as well. Bro, if I could... Maybe luck would have been okay. I feel like our ammo's fine. We're, we're in a great ammo situation right now. That was a really big explosion there, and I didn't see too much actually happening. <laughs> I don't know what path these guys have to take to get to me. It looks like the guys on the left side have to move to the right in order to get to me. So if I stay here, that's actually a very good spot for me to just rain down fire on everyone that comes around here. And get those one shots. Okay, this is actually working out pretty well. Our main hit is dealing 500 damage now, which means that firework shot is like firing an extra hit of what I have. Uh, however, if we continue to outscale the firework shot, there is an argument that I think it would mess up our one shot eliminations and potentially derail our build a little bit. But this is looking beautiful. Uh, we do have to get away from that slug. He got a little bit too close to me. A little bit of a traffic jam on the ramp up as well. I'll take advantage of that. We got a ton of bonus kills right there. That was excellent. We're up to 515 kills for this run. That's a lot considering we're only on round 18. Danger close, glue shot, uppercut, or blind fire. Uh, I'll go with the uppercut. Every fifth shot's going to deal increased damage. If we get lucky and time that with this volley of daggers, each of those is going to deal more damage. So that could be excellent. Uh, we have a legendary gold heart. Time bolt, second wind, or big chests. I'll buy the big chests. And reload silver heart blender gemstone could be good. 1200 do i want to invest that much into it i could sell this firework that would give me 800 so i need to sell another legendary assassin we're not getting rid of that not getting rid of grim reaper stamina i could get rid of danger close is gone what does that bring me up to 13 we're in damage increased after each island uh just means we're going to be hitting harder and harder the more we go Get a random pickup at lose 33% of your health. The wording on this is very important. That's not max HP, that's current HP. So we just generated a shockwave for free. We can then do that again and get another free item. This is poison shot, I need that desperately. And then collector, I'm gonna sell the shockwave. Reloading and then having that reload damage all enemies is really good. It's really good. Uh, the problem, is that I need to one-shot enemies. So if that shockwave goes out and actually hits them, then I can't one-shot them because they've already taken damage for free. Now this is the next elite here. Uh, I'm having trouble just shooting them in the first place. We do have that poison shot that will help us out. Will make the boss a little more vulnerable. But, ooh, it actually stacks up pretty well. It was up to 60, and considering how much I've missed, he does seem to be caught on this corner, and I am going to take advantage of that. I'm just going to continue to sidestep. Wait. I won. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've never seen a boss just commit Sunoku before. <laughs> All right, big chest. We have money is power. Damage shot. Assassin again. We're going to double dip on Assassin. Now, every 10 kills where we one-shot an enemy, we're going to increase our damage by 2%. We have 516 kills this run. Like, think about how many we're going to have now that enemies are actually spawning in way more dense clusters. This could be excellent. There is also another damage perk called uh, Fresh Tangerine or something. I really like that one too for this style of build because what it does is every time you get a kill, you get temporary damage while you're on that island. It does go away, but temporary... Di what? That was it? Temporary damage that increases like how much you could do, and it stacks every time you kill an enemy. So if you can get Tasty Tangerine, Tasty Tangerine, this is what it is. If you can get that stacked up, 
on an island, all of a sudden you're one-shotting everything anyway and scaling your assassin even more. I'm going to go for the spike chest again. I've been living dangerously, but we have enough healing to make it work. Oh, another thing that's been added since our previous episode, uh, the lava levels that we're playing on right now used to just be remakes of the beginning biome and then they put lava in instead of water in the ocean. That's no longer the case. These are unique levels for this part of the route. They are actively adding stuff to the game, which I gotta say makes me very, very happy. There have been very few titles that have come out recently where I'm like, I gotta play this game all day, every day, and <laughs> Craft Champions has taken over. Gemstone increases damage by 5%. That's perfect. Looks like we have either health or skill chest for the next one. I might go for the skill chest here. Uh, Grim Reaper would be more healing. Sentry turret, gemstone, collector, or thorn shot. I'll do gemstone. And then we will take... We'll take skill. Skill augments your weapon. It can give you more uh, magazine capacity. It could lower it. I think it does fire rate, but that might be speed. I guess we'll see when we get there. I guess we'll see when we get there. I just saw a pop-up for Assassin on the right, so you can watch over there too, but the text goes away pretty fast for when you're getting upgrades. I also probably need to make sure that these enemies get a little bit more grouped up before I shoot because not all of them are getting one shot. Some of them were taking splash damage and not fully dying. Some elites just spawned in the center of the map. I'm working my way back over to see if I can spot them. I guess they were in this cave. Wait, this is about to be awkward. Are you guys chasing me? <laughs> Hello? Well, I heard you. There you are. Hey, bud. I knew my ears. They never deceive. Wow, that poison isn't bad. That poison isn't bad. 40% chance per rocket to add poison stacks to an enemy. If I could get another elemental going, that might be a-okay. Uh, big claws, grip tape, or big mag. I guess I'll do big mag. That will give my automatic reload a bigger chance of catching up to me. I'm also gonna take the critical hit, mainly because it's a flawless chest as well, and we have big chests. So if we get flawless, we're looking at like literally eight extra items with all of our perks put together, including what's spawning in the original chest. Now these are pretty good one shots. I think this map is a cave though. It's a cave with a couple entrances. So that wouldn't be super easy for me to hold. I'm gonna keep looping around the outside. 20 seconds is all we need to stay alive. Will we be able to do it? I think so. I think we'll be okay. I think the majority of the enemies are actually behind me right now. So far, we do still have our flawless as well as we're entering the last eight seconds. I thought I hit the lava there. I thought I was screwed. <laughs> nice. This has been a really good run. I'm glad we're capturing this one. This has been really good. Where's the chest behind me? I didn't get flawless. I think I did touch lava. Unfortunate. But we get critical grenade, hot shot, sharpshooter, increased critical hit chance. I don't hate that. And the shop is next wish i had bigger shops grave digger rig totems or bronze heart as well as arcane blast our totem is max health for an item i don't want that i will take the money in the back though i'm just gonna reroll that grim reaper is great we already know that shots deal more damage that's great as well yeah i don't think i'm really gonna buy anything else uh, money shot is not printing a ton of money for me. I do feel pretty broke right now. Uh, I'm going to take the speed chest. It is a chance of giving me fire rate. I think our damage scaling is on point. I think our health and healing is on point. What we are missing is just damage output. F raw fire rate would do so much for us. It would cause the poison to stack more often on enemies, making them more vulnerable. This is nice. Is this a dead end? It is! Oh, I think I got hit there. Oh God, I definitely got, it. stay back, stay back. I can't hold, I can't hold the line. <laughs> we should be able to heal it back up, I think. Uh, there are some elites in this hallway now shooting some ranged attacks at us too. Stay back, Ant, stay back. These should be the last elites here, I think. Oh, 
Hey, little crab. You were behind me the whole time. Gemstone damage increased by 10%. We have melee cooldown reduction. More jumps. Shots are faster and less affected by gravity. Uh, reload speed increased or fire rate increased, but shots deal less damage. I'm going to go for the fast shot. I'm also going to take the double spiked again. This one has mirrored projectiles. And this is actually an instance where our fire rate is benefiting us. If we were shooting a thousand rounds a second, that would be a thousand mirrored projectiles bouncing back at me. However, with the rocket launcher, because we're shooting so slow, the mirrored projectile is usually extremely easy to dodge. But on top of that, we can avoid the projectile entirely by just shooting the ground next to an enemy. If we shoot the ground and then the explosion is what kills them, then that's not a projectile. And you can see I can stand here comfortably without taking any damage because of that. We have a really good weapon for this challenge. Really, really good. Now, I am going to need to consistently hit this guy to get poison up. I may not be able to get both chests at the end unless we find some healing. Uh, this should be the last elite as far as I know. Oh, we did get a hefty amount of health back. Okay, so double spike chest would bring us down to <laughs> very low HP. And then there's another double spike after. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, poison aura, layer grenade, split shot, damage aura, or dagger arc. Uh, split shot means that the longer my rockets are in the air. Uh, I don't think that was it. The longer my rockets are in the air, uh, the more likely they are to split into other projectiles. Don't know if that's actually super beneficial. Uh, I could take the next spike chest as well, but I don't have any HP, so we're going to do the random. It is a horde, so if I... Oh, I should, probably should have done the spike. Uh, if I can at least get a couple kills, our Grim Reapers will start to heal us up, and we might be okay, but as of right now, our damage is really, really low. Did I pick the juice out of that last chest and then didn't even say juice? Uh, if I did take it, that's fire rate damage increase and attack speed increase. It's literally the best thing for the style style of build that we're doing right now uh skull in the sky's got to get taken down don't want elites just hovering our healing's not looking half bad at all we're already back up to 91 hp we will have a shop after this as well so prior to going into the last boss we will be okay i i hope i hope we'll be okay this is getting a little dicey yeah, 143 HP. We're doing okay. That being said, I did take a massive hit immediately as I said that. Immediately as I brought up my HP. Oh, that was a one-shot on that skull. That was 1,600 damage on the skull. That was a one-shot on the ant elite. Yeah, we're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. Big grenade. Big chest. This will be the last of our chests, so I don't think I really need that. Uh, I could take the bronze health just for the extra heal. Sometimes, if you get really high on HP, you won't be able to heal up enough in this final area. Looks like that's not going to be the case today. Is this another collector? No, it's a big hearts. Sure. Big hearts into double HP increase, single HP increase right before the last boss. Since we are going to stop here too, someone brought this up in the comments. You could get rid of a lot of your economy stuff, like my money shot, my big chest, things we know we're not going to use anymore. You could sell these to then potentially fish for different upgrades here. I thought that was a good idea, so I thought I would point it out. Like this as well, because it's our last run, we don't need this endurance. We don't need to heal after the round. So I can try to save up and get this juiced. And because we're not going to interact with any more totems, there you go. Now we're doing all right. So if I get close to an enemy, our damage should be pretty high. It looks like we are still struggling to keep poison stacking. But as long as I can get some on the boss, it'll make our lives easier. Now, this is going to be really difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. We're not very good at bosses. We did luck out and not get the fire skull. I think he's way harder than the ant. I think I can deal with the ant. The biggest problem with the ant is that they start with so much armor 
that you have to break through. And I don't have any increases that would help me do that. Oh, I just got nailed. What is that homing? What is that? Okay, I need ads. Can you spawn some ads for me? Okay, we gotta treat this guy with respect. We gotta get away from him. If he does spawn ads, I'll be able to heal with our Grim Reaper. Hey, that wasn't a bad hit. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. That was so much damage though. Is that what that is? Those are ho those are literally homing. So I just moved out at the worst possible time. Hey, that's okay. I did learn about a boss mechanic. So this is the homing thing again. We just need to line of sight that. He also did bring in some elite ads next to him that I should be able to get some health off of. Uh, back it up, back it up, back it up. Our damage is looking great though. I got hit by poison again, but it doesn't matter. And that's gonna be our win for today. Now, what are they trying to tempt me with? Firestorm, clearance, mortar turret, and proximity barrage. <laughs> oh, proximity barrage. That would be fun. But that's gonna do it, boys. If you want to see longer runs, like I mentioned, we play this game all the time over on Twitch. You can dig up some of our VODs and there's a lot of examples there. Also on Holly stream, we've been trying to go for level 120 in a group of four. That's kind of the challenge we're working on right now. But for today, that's gonna do it. The rocket launcher was a success. Here are all the mods I got to bring it all together. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to continue to cover this game in the future because it's my favorite game right now. Really, nothing even comes close right now. <laughs>